If you have bird feeders, this is what you really want to see on them, right? And not squirrels, and certainly not this guy. The fact of the matter is that rodents love seeds as much as birds do, and it's really hard to have one without having the other. And you can't always count on your local predator population to take care of the situation. But there is something you can do, and in this video I'm going to show you how to select the right squirrel baffle and how to install it, and to make your above ground feeders as rodent proof as possible. Now what sort of cone should you buy? Well I've got two examples here. This one's a stamped cone. It's one piece. And it's got a, about an inch and a half uh, hole in the top. This one is actually a split cone, like so. And the hole is actually a little bit smaller. The split baffle is perfectly designed for the shepherd's hook installation because it can be wrapped around the post like so after the bracket is installed. Now there's no way, however, that you can use a stamp cone on a shepherd's hook. Now the arms and the bottom fork is welded in place and there's just no way to slide a one-piece cone down over the post. To use it, you'll have to remove your feeder and it will install like so. The first step for both types is to install the bracket and you want to measure and make sure you're doing this about five foot above ground. If you install it too low, squirrels will just simply jump over it. Be sure that the slanted surfaces are going to be at the top of the bracket. This will allow for maximum up and down travel should a critter try to actually climb over this cone. Like 95% of the baffles on the market, both of these cones are designed to fit a 5 8 inch to 1 and 3 8 inch post approximately. Now, however, when you approach that size, you probably won't get much rock back and forth. Even so, if the cone is wide enough, say 17 inches or better, the squirrel probably won't be able to climb over it anyway. And if squirrels are beating these defenses, it may probably be because you have structures, tree limbs, or shrubs too close to your feeders. In this case, my squirrel feeding platform was just too close to the shepherd's hook and this squirrel just jumped over the gap. The brackets are generally pretty simple and will typically be made in two halves. They will simply straddle the post for installation. On the shepherd's hook, I just used a screwdriver to put it together. However, this was pretty slow and tedious. Fortunately, one half of the bracket is threaded, so you really don't need to fool with nuts here. The other bracket did have nuts. However, I was able to use my drill here and really made this quick. If your bracket is slipping up and down the post after you've tightened it, here's a tip. I had this problem, so I just used a hose or we used to call them radiator clamp underneath the bracket. Get that good and tight, and that'll keep it from sliding. Now separate the baffle, and then uh, put it on the post above the bracket, of course, and then just reconnect it. It will easily snap back together. Now, if I was using the split cone on this application, I wouldn't have to remove this bird feeder like I'm going to have to do for the stamp cone. Once it's off, though, all you have to do is just install your bracket and drop the cone in place over the top of the post. Rather simple. Now I can reinstall the bird feeder. Also, folks, we do a lot of how-to videos. If you're interested and you've enjoyed this one, uh, please go below and like our video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it. Now, if you are suspending your feeders from an overhead structure of some kind, uh, you can set this cone above the feeder. Matter of fact, this stamp cone comes with a special hanger just for that purpose. The split cone also came with hanging hardware. I just didn't use it. If you need to mount your baffle like this, be sure when you buy your cone that it has hanging hardware. Well, folks, I've showed you two different samples of squirrel baffles today. But believe me, that is just scratching the surface. If you go online and look, there's tons of different styles and shapes and sizes and materials, etc. And it can be kind of confusing. But if you look at the reviews, you'll see that most of them uh, seem to work. But they only work provided that you follow the rules we talked about in this video. 
Uh, one, if you're pole mounting it, make sure it's five feet off the ground. Make sure that within eight feet of your feeder, uh, you don't have jumping points for squirrels, uh, say a, a building or, or a tree limb, or etc., because they will just simply circumvent your baffle, and in that case, there's no point in buying one. Measure your post. If it's post mounted, make sure you buy the right size. Uh, make sure that you get hanging hardware if you're going to hang it over your feeder. And so on. Now, I will be doing a video coming up where I'm going to modify one of these stamp cones to make it fit a bit larger post. So you may want to watch for that. I will put some paid purchasing links in the description. Uh, give you a kind of a starting point for your search. So folks, feel free to send me questions and comments. Share your experience with me, if you will. And it may take a couple of days, but I will get back with you. And that's going to kind of wrap it up for today. I hope this has been good information, and I hope this has been a help to you. And until next time, thanks for watching.